yeah, anywhere you have information and you're going to have, you're going to have data in, in every human activity. So anywhere. Um, and you know, and it is, it is misused. I mean, there's pie charts in almost every report. So, so that's, that's a data visualization, I suppose. Pe when people think of data visualizations, they typically think of these kinds of plot-like things, like scatter plots and you know, network layouts and things like this. So, so information graphics, where instead of telling me the number 13, they draw 13 coffee cups. Uh, that doesn't help. It's the number 13, I get it. You don't need to sh draw shapes. Um, so it's, it's this tremendously low-hanging fruit for taking information, low low resolution information and, and drawing shapes out of it. Um, but, you know, that's, that's done. Um, all the way to um, improving factory floor layouts by having augmented reality of where to place certain things in a, in a production area. Um, that's a kind of real world visualization that um, can help you plan the real world. And that's data. I mean, all, all of the I sensory input we get is, is a kind of information. And when we look at anything, you know, when I look at you, you're, you, you can be described by a large, num large series of numbers. So there you are. I'm v you're visualized in front of me. Um, and, and it's a kind of communication. So to ask where would data visualization be used is similar to saying where would writing be used? Where would speaking be used? Anywhere, anywhere that you have something to say. Um, and so just like words are, you know, there's many words that you can choose from in a language, say 100,000, 400,000. And if you think of them as individual shapes, you pick the right shape to, to match to your concepts, and then you put them in a certain order, and then you say them, and you hope that that works out. In data visualization, it's kind of similar. You, you, although you have an infinite number of different data sets, but let's say you have some numbers, and you pick the right shapes, you put them on the page, and you hope that that has communicated the ideas or the patterns inside those numbers in the same way that the words have communicated your concepts. Uh, and then you try to seamlessly move between the two. You don't make the distinction. You don't say, oh, now I'm doing data viz. You know, stand back. And then, oh, it's over now. You can, you know, when people have presentations and they sometimes apologize for having math in their presentations, they say, I'm just going to let you know there's some math coming up if anyone in the audience needs to, you know, turn away. That's, that's terrible. Why would you apologize for the thing you're passionate about? Basically, if somebody looks away, you look at them and you say, you're a bad person for doing that. 